officially welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber and if you are new here hello nice to meet you my name is Julia and I upload videos every Sunday except last week when I didn't which was really sad maybe you waited up all night and you were like oh, where's the video and you just like waited and waited and refreshing the page and it never came and you cried or maybe you just like forgot it existed and you could care less and you're glad I didn't upload a video. Hopefully it's somewhere in between, like right in the middle of those two. Like that would be a nice healthy relationship for you and I to have. So basically I was too busy last weekend to upload a video because I spent the entire weekend at a training. And I also had a really busy this week. A really, this week was really busy for me. And I almost forgot to upload a video this week too. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I need to film a video. So I just want to get a video up because it makes me really sad when I don't. So this is just going to be kind of a stream of consciousness life update. I have a post-it note. I'm just going to update you on some things that's going on because I haven't been vlogging lately. I've just been posting these videos. So there's lots of things you don't know about. So let's start with why I didn't upload the video and that is because I spent the entire weekend at a training to be a mission trip leader. So where I work is called Adventures in Missions. Hopefully you're familiar with that. It's a short-term and long-term mission organization. So we have within our organization an entire department that just does short-term trips and their summer season is coming up, coming up, coming up and all staff members have the opportunity to lead a trip, which is really cool. And so I took the training that is required to lead a trip. And so it was three days long, and I'm gonna be so honest with you, I had a really bad attitude about it, so bad. I didn't wanna do it. I thought it was gonna be like really summer campy. I, told, I asked somebody before, I was like, on a scale of like casual meeting with donuts to like summer camp, where, where is this training happening? And she was like, oh, it's like, it's like closer to the summer camp. And I was like, Ugh, just not feeling that right now. Um, so I had a really bad attitude about it. I didn't wanna go, but I'm glad I went. It was really great. It was pretty summer campy, I'm not gonna lie, but I liked it. The thing is I work in the marketing department and I just spend all my time kind of looking at the computer and thinking about the business side of things, the back end of things. How can we convince more people to participate in our ministry and to want to take part in what God is doing in our ministry, but I don't actually that often go out and do the ministry that I'm marketing. Um, and so this weekend, or last weekend, I spent the whole weekend talking about the actual ministry. Um, and that was really cool. And just to be trained um, in our tools and what we're doing and to take part in what we're actually doing was great, not only for my job, but just for my heart. Um, so I really enjoyed it. I'm really glad I did it. And I confess and repent about having a horrible attitude. So I'm glad I did that. Um, where am I gonna be leading a mission trip? I have no idea, actually. The thing is, I've never, I have led a trip before. I led a three month documentary mission trip last year in Southeast Asia, but I haven't led with this department before. So, and they do things differently. So I'm actually gonna be co-leading with somebody else, but I literally, I don't know who they are. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know when I'm going, which I personally think is exciting. I'm an INFP on the Myers-Briggs and the P part means that I like freedom. I like unknown. I like spontaneity. I don't actually know if that's what that means, but I know that I think this situation is exciting and it is not stressful to me. Whereas other people would be like, I hate this. I need to know where I'm going. I need to know when I need to put it on my Google calendar. La 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 la. If any of you guys are familiar with the LDS community, the Jesus, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Mormons, they, when they go on their missions, they get these letters in the mail and they open them up and their whole family and friends come over and they have a party. And it says like where they're going for two years or a year and a half. And it's very exciting. And I'm like, this is the closest I'm gonna come to that, you know? Maybe. I think it's gonna be exciting. So I don't know where I'm going, but I'm assuming it'll be in like June, maybe July. Most of their trips are in June or July, which is something I know because I do most of the marketing for their trips. 
If you want to go on a mission trip with Adventures in Missions, I will link down below the summer schedule. They're just like a week to 10 days if you're interested in that. If you wanna do anything longer, like um, a month, two months, three months, 11 months, you wanna move and live there, we have those options too. I'll link down below the website. Okay, the next update is a travel announcement. In about three weeks or so, I'm gonna be going to Peru. I'm so excited. I have wanted to go to South America, honestly, since like 2013. Right when I got home from the four months I spent in Europe, right after college, I was just dreaming about South America. I don't quite know why, but I was dreaming about it. And I obviously had to work and then I went on the world race and the world race I was like, I need to pick something with South America. I'm obsessed with South America. I really like speaking Spanish. And I felt like, and there weren't any routes that had South America and India and I just felt like I had to go to India because I felt at the time I was really scared of India and I was really intimidated by it and I felt like that's really irrational and annoying so I'm gonna go to India. Whoa. That was my door but it sounded like an ax murderer. That was really scary. Anyways, back to my analogy about fear and face. <laughs> Basically, I decided it was very important for me to go to India, so I picked it over South America. And now, to this day, if I see a route that has India and South America on it, I get really mad. Anyway, so I have not been to South America yet. And so at the beginning of the year, I literally called all my friends together and said, okay, we're having a meeting. We had a meeting during lunch at work, and I said, we're going to go over our travel plans for the year, and we're going to discuss everyone's goals and ambitions, and we're gonna get out our calendars, and we're gonna walk away from this meeting with a decision about whether or not we're going on a trip together. And we all talked and we talked and we walked away from that meeting with the decision that Betty, my roommate and I are going to Peru. Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I honestly wanna go to most countries in South America, but Peru is top of the list. I don't really know why. Maybe it's Machu Picchu, something about it, but I'm like, if I can only go to one, I wanna go to Peru. My brother and his soon-to-be wife are going to be taking a van all around South America for like a year. So I'm thinking I'll meet up with them maybe this time next year, wherever they are, um, and hit up some other countries. So I'm super obsessed with South America. I really like speaking Spanish. Betty is Mexican, so she is fluent in Spanish. Um, well, not so, she just she's Mexican and also fluent in Spanish. Um, but I told her she can't speak for me. Uh, I need to do it for myself because I can do it. I'm capable. Uh, and she was like, okay. Actually, the other day when I was doing STM training, we did some outreach at this apartment complex and we were just kind of like walking around and um, talking to people, praying for them, seeing if they wanted to hear about Jesus. And I talked to this woman in Spanish for like 20 minutes because she didn't know English. And I was like, I'm doing evangelism right now in Spanish. This is like the most empowering thing I think I've ever done. And I've done some empowering things. So that was really cool. In fact, I've been feeling really empowered a lot lately. I feel like this past week especially, the Lord has been really trying to empower me. I mean, he was like being really encouraging to me at the STM training. I There was this one person at the training who intimidates me and I just tend to avoid people who intimidate me. Just a vulnerable confession. Um, and I remember God was like, well, you should just view yourself like you view her and then you won't be intimidated. And I was like, whoa. So I was like, okay, I will. I'm just as awesome as that person. That, that settles that. Okay. Okay, my card is running out of space. So we gotta wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below um, thoughts and ideas and requests that you have about my channel and about videos. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, bye. Subscribe if you haven't. Okay, this is annoying, okay. And if you want it, come and get it. Cry out.